Hi everyone, it's Marco Brown with Brown Law. I wanted to talk to you for a moment today about the Summit County lockdown order that's going to go into effect March 27th at 12.01 a.m. So tomorrow at 12.01 a.m. And specifically, I wanted to talk to you about how parent time exchanges, how it might affect parent time exchanges or custody exchanges up there in Summit County. In Summit, Summit County, the biggest, uh, biggest city is obviously Park City, how it's gonna affect that. So I have with me the order itself. I've gone through this. I've really thought about it a lot. So I'm going to give you my take. This is obviously not authoritative, but I'm going to give you my take on the situation. So, and I'm going to read part of this. So if I look down, it's because I'm reading. So really the stay at home order is that everybody stays at home unless they're doing essential things like essential travel or they're working in essential businesses. And really this does shut down businesses for the most part with the exception of essential businesses, things like medical care, hospitals, grocery stores. And you know there are exceptions for other things as well, but those essential businesses are able to stay open. If it's a non-essential business, it can stay open, but everybody kind of has to work at home. So uh, law firms are, as far as I can tell, exempted from this. But you know, if we get a lockdown order, we're all working from home because we can't. So everybody's, uh, or a lot of people are gonna be working from home in Summit County. So really the way uh, in, you know, public gatherings are outlawed in this, uh, there are travel restrictions, we're gonna talk about those. Um, it, it is really, really restrictive here. But let's go through the travel restrictions because that's where people get confused in this. They say, oh, well, there are travel restrictions so we can't exchange parent time. Well, that's not actually the case once we, once we go through this. So the first thing to note is that really you're supposed to stay home here, but you can engage in outdoor activity. It says to engage in outdoor activity provided the individuals comply with social distancing requirements, which is uh, defined in another portion here is at least six feet from each other, um, such as by way of example, without limitation, walking, hiking, or running. So you can go walking, hiking, or running here, uh, but you're not to congregate at trailheads, parks, or the recreational areas, because again, you're getting too close to each other and you're not gonna maintain that social distancing. Okay, so when we get to section seven and paragraph H is really where the kind of rubber meets the road here. These are the definitions for essential travel. So you are prohibited from traveling with the exception of essential travel. And this is where we figure out that parent time exchanges, custody exchanges can actually take place. So in H, we have for the purposes of this order, essential travel includes travel to and from for the following purposes. Then it goes through and talks about a whole bunch of uh, those purposes. One is to travel to care for elderly, minors, dependents, persons with disabilities, or other vulnerable persons. So in here, we have minors. You're, you're traveling to care for your minor child and you're traveling to care for your dependent. So that's one thing. And then, in uh, subparagraph V, it says travel required by law enforcement or court order. So if you have a divorce decree or you have a custody order that lays out parent time, then you have a court order that lays it out. You can travel for those things. So that is absolutely clear in this order that if you have a divorce decree or you have a custody order, you can do the parent time exchanges. Okay. Uh, you can also move in and out of the jurisdiction out of Summit County in order to do this. That's subparagraph, subparagraph IV. So as I read this, you're fine doing these parent time exchanges. Again, exempted is travel for the care of elderly, minors, or uh, dependents. Kids are obviously in that. And then travel required by law enforcement or court order. So we're good to go there. Social distancing is still six feet. Um, so. Like I say, I don't think there's any problem with the parent time exchanges up in Summit County. I know, and I made this video because I've actually received some pushback from other attorneys saying, no, we're not going to do the exchanges during this period of time because of the order. Well, that's completely and totally incorrect. Here are really a couple 
things that you need to keep in mind during this period. You need to work together as parents. You do not, you do not use this as an opportunity to screw the other parent out of parent time. I know the commissioner up there in Summit County, she is gonna be extraordinarily mad if anybody uses this pandemic as an opportunity to, uh, to take away parent time from another parent. Absolutely do not do that in any way. And there are going to be some difficult cases here, however. So what I've been talking about is everybody's okay and you kind of, you, you, the child goes back and forth. But what happens, what happens if the kid has coronavirus where one person is, you know, one parent is exhibiting all of the symptoms, right? Those are gonna be very, very difficult cases. You really need to communicate extraordinarily well between yourselves as parents to figure this out. Let's say there is a case in which it's just safer that the kid does not go back and forth. Maybe somebody's immune compromised and you work this out, but you decide that the child should not go back and forth during this period. What you need to do is you need to set up a system in which, yes, the child's gonna stay with one parent during this period of time, and the other parent is gonna lose out on some parent time, but that other parent, that other parent is going to get the parent time back at some future time. So maybe extended portions of the summer or more weekends for an extended period of time. That needs to happen. You need to work together to ensure that if a parent does miss out on parent time, that per parent gets the parent time back. So the takeaway from this is even under the Summit County lockdown order, parent time exchanges should be perfectly fine under the travel uh, exemptions in paragraph, in paragraph seven. But if you do need to keep the child with one parent during this period of time, you need to ensure that the other parent gets his or her time back. Okay. If you need help with a divorce, you need help with anything, give us a call. Our number is 801-685-9999, or you can check us out on the web, www.utdivorceattorney.com. Thanks everyone and stay safe out there.